what you see me doing on this video today is inadvisable I don't condone it would discourage it very strongly let's take a look Crash me drawn under the bridge, railway bridge at my valley. Obviously, I could retrieve it, but Jesus, it was an awful job trying to get it. Now, I know I shouldn't be walking along the railway tracks, but the only way to get it back was to go and retrieve it. And obviously, there's plenty of room both sides of the railway here for me to step in if a train comes. The train came there a few minutes ago, but thankfully, my drone was safe. So, there you go. Drone seems to be all right as well. Seems to be in good shape. Um, and no broken propellers, which is excellent. So, uh, I gotta head back now. And I gotta keep away from the bridges, I think. I'm learning a lesson, a hard lesson in relation to the bridges. Because once you go under, what happens is GPS signal is lost. And then you're completely disoriented no control over the drone so it's a learning curve anyway there you go the bridge is my valley I left my hat down here in order to give me a, an indication of where I came through the hedge <laughs> so there's the hedge and it's practically impenetrable but I did get one spot that I got through though it was a bit of a struggle and I left my hat here as a marker so there you go Back in business now, and have to climb up that fucking bank to try and get out. So I'm looking straight. So here I am, stuck in the middle of the hedge, and it's not. It's an awful bloody thick hedge, but I'm hoping to get out. I'm out of the hedge now, heading back for the car. And there's one lesson I'm gonna take from this. You might think I'm a slow learner when it comes to flying the drone. But there's one lesson I'm gonna take from it. That is, keep away from bridges. Keep away from bridges. And, but the only reason I went under that railway bridge was because I knew if things went disastrously wrong, that it wouldn't fall into the canal or river like the previous one fell into the Boyne but Jesus did an awful job getting down onto the tracks in order to get it back have it back now, have it in my pocket I'm hoping it's alright, I'm hoping it's not damaged Jesus is an awful stupid thing to be doing there's the bridge there that I went under and it crashed and you can see the fence there 
it's a very high fence and I couldn't get over it, so I had to go way down. I had to go way down. I had to go way down along the edge behind me here and climb in through a very, very strong, well fortified hedge. But I got out. I got out of it. Um, I got through it and walked down. So, anyway, we're back in business. Hopefully, the drone is okay.
my drone is up a tree now. <laughs> it's up that tree actually. And I've got this ladder to try and get it down. It's actually stuck up in the tree. I misjudged it as I was walking down the road here and I had the drone tracking. The tree is far bigger. But when it hit the tree from the far to earth, it stayed in the bully tree. It stayed in the tree, so I'm heading out there now with this extendable ladder. I can't actually climb up on the ladder into the tree because the branches are too weak, too small, and too thin. But I'm hoping that the ladder will just allow me to prod and poke and knock the drone down to earth. And then we'll be back in business again. Hope that's the plan. This tree here now is the tree in which my drone has decided to come to rest. If we can fucking see it up there somewhere because I saw it a few minutes ago took photographs of it anyway that's where it is yeah there it is there the end of that branch so I'm going to have to try and poke it down with the ladder hopefully I'll be able to use my ladder there's the drone up there, you can just about see the outline of it. Yeah, there it's there. So I need to try and push the branches and free it. 